Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, we're out at a duplex right now that my fiance and I are actually under contract on in Decatur. We've got one rental property that's pretty close and this one came across my desk from a wholesaler and uh, we decided to move quick on it because the price was pretty good. We felt like we could negotiate a little bit and um, <clears throat> it was a uh, eight bedrooms and four baths. So the way it's split up is, is two separate four twos and in each, each section there's a two one upstairs and a two one downstairs. So it's got some good square footage and it looks like both sides uh, will rent for 1100 a month. So we figured at 2200 a month total um, at the price point that we we're looking at with some negotiation room, it was a, uh, a done deal. So we've got it under contract right now. I'm actually here in the front yard so I can show y'all. Uh, it's got a, just a yellow exterior. The roof was actually done, I think about five years ago. Um, it's got a good size front yard, kind of just parked in the front here because the driveway is real skinny that goes in between the houses. Um, <clears throat> but when you look at this sign right here, it was actually uh, for an auction, um, but then it went to a wholesaler and I was able to scoop that up. So we've got a uh, sign in the front yard to kind of just see if we can generate some leads now that I've got control of the property. Do some, might as well do some advertisement. Um, I'm going to walk around to the back and bring y'all through and show you everything. Unfortunately, all the AC units were stolen uh, recently, so yeah, you know, it kind of stinks because I have to replace it, but then again, it allowed me to get the price down another $10,000 with the wholesaler. But like I said, duplex, two front doors, new roof. Um, it's been recently updated a while ago, so it's not too bad. We're going to go ahead and uh, close next week on this. and put about $10,000 worth of work into it, painting the uh, exterior to get rid of this yellow color um, and, and put about another eight or $9,000 into the inside. You know, we've got extra, extra parking back here. This is actually a graveyard right there, but we're gonna put up a privacy fence to where you're not gonna see that. So we're looking at the back of the house right now. The, uh, there was an AC unit stolen from right there and then the others are uh, you can see them stripped to pieces back here from where they were trying to get the wiring out and all kinds of stuff I'm gonna zoom in over there so we're gonna trash that clean up the place put a new coat of paint it has new windows actually which is nice along with the roof um, but let's uh, let's go in the bottom of this left side so we've got a 2-1 up here a 2-1 down here and then a two one up here and a two one down here. Eight beds, four baths total. But let's come in through this bottom left side. So vinyl floors, decent condition. Honestly, we'll probably strip all this vinyl out and uh, lay down new flooring, something nice and modern, and uh, put a new coat of paint on these walls as well, new blinds, things like that. Um, low drop ceiling, it's not the best, but you know, it'll still rent. Everybody needs a roof over their head. Um, new paint, paint the doors. We're gonna do just, uh, just short and sweet stuff on here. Nothing expensive, just to where we can get it renting at that $1,100 a month. Um, we've got a staircase going up, so you had your one bedroom through there, your second bedroom right here need a uh, replacement ceiling tile probably replace that one there looks like looks like there was a leak there at one point in time um, so once the water gets turned on we're gonna have to address that and see see what's uh what's it looking like closet second closet actually and this looks like the hot water heater and the bathroom so tile floors that's a plus um, we may keep this vanity or replace it, not sure, probably keep it. Um, and there's no power. Let me grab my flashlight. Let's see if I can, there we go. So obviously the uh, tub needs to be cleaned, um, but you know, tile tub, updated paint color. So overall that's pretty good. It needs a new vanity, not a new vanity. Um, fixtures above the vanity. I hear that chirping sound needs new batteries in the alarm. Let's go upstairs and see what we got up here. 
Probably put some new carpet on these stairs because that's pretty nasty as you can see. And this is not hardwood, but it's a vinyl that looks like hardwood. Has the updated gray paint color, but again, we'll probably put a new coat just to cover up, you know, blemishes like that. And there's your front door. So let's start here. This is kind of like a walk-in living room. Put a TV in here. And then you come into the kitchen and you have a tile kitchen floors, which is very nice. That's the back door that goes down to the stairs. Comes with a refrigerator. Um, you've got cabinets with no doors, but honestly, we probably won't even put doors on here. Doesn't even look like there were doors to begin with. There's no holes in the wood. At first we thought they were stolen, but we'll clean those up, maybe paint them, maybe not. Um, clean the, cap the countertops up, possibly new appliances. Um, got some more pantry space over here, and additional pantry right here. So that's kitchen one. And up here we have another two bedrooms and another bath. Bedroom one. Throw a new carpet in here for sure. And a closet. Come into bedroom two. Need some sheetrock repair. We'll put these closet doors back on. New blinds. New carpet. And the bathroom in here is tile already, so that will clean up. This tile will clean up. And uh, pretty good to go. Again, some new lights above the vanity. Um, so let's walk out and go into unit number two. Right around the corner. And we'll start downstairs in the basement. This was where another one of the um, AC units was sitting. You can see the cords just cut right there. All right. So pretty much the same thing. Vinyl floors. These actually look a little nicer. We may decide to keep this. It's got kind of a funky smell in here kind of damp, moist, have to make sure there's no mold that we need to deal with. Um, this looks like washer and dryer hookup right here. Um, new paint, definitely needs some cosmetic repair. It's like the old box. And looks fine. Staircase that goes up. But we've got two bedrooms down here. Here is one bedroom, good size bedroom. Closet, cable come in here on the other side. We're gonna have another bathroom or bedroom. This one's a small, a little bit smaller bedroom, and it has direct access to this bathroom. So kind of funky. You've got to come in through a doorway to get to the bathroom down here, and you have to go in the bedroom to get there. But you know, not everybody cares about that stuff. Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. You can go back out into the main entrance area. And uh, to, uh, that's pretty disgusting right there. Never going to know what you're going to find in these vacant houses. Let's go upstairs and uh, wrap this tour up. Pretty sure it's the same tile floor. Looks like some of the tiles popping, so we'll probably regrout this. It looks kind of nasty. Um, but again, we got another fridge. Those aren't cheap. Um, door to go outside. Probably paint the cabinets. Nice little hole they already cut out through into the living room. This living room, I like this living room better because you don't have your staircase. And the other one, the staircase was right here and it took up half the living room, but this one they actually put in the kitchen for some reason. So, I don't know. Maybe people, depends on if they want a bigger kitchen or a bigger living room. But there's that. And you got your two bedrooms up here. 
This is the bathroom. We've got looks like some old liquor bag, liquor bottle bags. Definitely need some cleaning in here. New carpet. And your other bedroom. So that's uh that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you guys an update on when we start construction with this and uh, get it all cleaned up and new pictures and paint and uh, put some tents in here. Thanks for watching.